Hi, I'm Kara from Karen Co Creative, and if you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems, basically everything you need to run your service based business online. Today, I have a quick tutorial showing you how to create different automations with different email sequences in ConvertKit. Essentially, this is for you if you have different lead magnets that get people onto your list, you want to send them all through the same nurture sequence, but still make sure that they get to that different lead magnet they signed up for. So I'll take you over my shoulder. And here we are, we are in one of my clients accounts. And so this was a situation that she was in earlier that I helped her out with. Essentially, she has one lead magnet that she runs all of her clients through. That was this herb lead here. They get onto this a few different ways. They get a tag because I always recommend that you tag your clients whenever they have an action. And I have a separate video on that that I'll link below um, that they run through an email series. She has a new freebie lead magnet that she wants to send to them. She wants them to get her nurture sequence, but she doesn't want them to get that same link in that email. So she needs to make some changes to the sequence. So you will notice if you just go ahead and duplicate the automation. If you click in here and edit the copy here, it will edit it everywhere the sequence is found. So what you do need to do first is go ahead and add another tag via subscribers in this panel is where you can add another tag. You need to create another landing page or form. So a separate one for delivering this lead magnet. And the big step is we need to come over to send sequences and we need to duplicate the email sequence, the nurture sequence that you want everyone who gets your lead magnet to run through. So we've already done this here, but so you can see how that's done. We have to do is you have to click into the herb lead sequence or whatever sequence source is called, come to settings and hit duplicate. If you say yes, you're sure you want to duplicate, then what you need to do is go ahead and you can rename it whatever you want, so long as you're going to be sure how to differentiate it from the previous sequence. So I'm going to leave this here for now, the copy of the herb lead. Now when we're in automate, the visual automations, we can go back to that duplicate that we made. We need to make a few changes to it. First, you want to change this step to whatever your new landing page is. So we'll say the Archer landing page is the new one that you have for your new lead magnet. We're gonna update that event. And if you have other ones in here, you're not going to need them because only if they signed up for something that's gonna give them the specific lead magnet needs to stay. Next, edit this step. You'll update this with your new tag. So the one that we had created was Herb Guide Najina, which is a summit that she's attending. Um, and then this is the email sequence to edit this step instead of clicking on it and editing the sequence itself, because that's going to edit this herb lead in the other automation. Sorry, that always pops me out. So instead of doing that, clicking on it to edit the text right there, instead we're going to edit the step and we're going to send them to the copy of the herb lead. And now if we want to, we can click on this to edit this copy or we can edit it back in the series panel. But that is basically how you can sort of save yourself some work and ha not having to recreate the entire emails all over again. You can duplicate the email sequence over under the send tab and then make sure that the new sequence appears in your automation. So hopefully that lightens your workload. If you have multiple lead magnets that you want to send some of the same emails to, just make sure that they have the different lead magnet when they sign up. Um, if this video is helpful to you, be sure to like the video. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future tutorials. Thanks.